Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, Fitz just had his paw on my shoulder. I hope he doesn't again because I'm truly a dog mom. Hi, boy. Coco and I have really just been cuddling all morning. Um, happy Saturday. Happy vlog. I almost said vlogmas. Happy vlog week day three. Um, me from the future. I'm editing, but I need to know. Do we like vlogs with background music or vlogs without background music? Comment down below. Let me know. This vlog doesn't have background music. The other ones have lately. So you let me know. So anyways, um, hi. Hi. Q and I have a tradition of Saturday mornings. We go get coffee and then we go on a walk. Um, used to just be us with Coco, but now we have Fitz. It's his first one joining us and he is not good with walks. So hopefully he does better, but we're going to go to the lake. You're going to really like it. That's where we were right before we got you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He doesn't care. If you guys are new here, subscribe. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you good? Fitz, I want you to, he literally was like this. This is how he was like, yeah, but like more. Okay, so cute guys. I'm like a crazy cat lady, but with dogs now. Bye. Truly such a beautiful sight to see. Love you, wow. Guys, okay, Coco wants it too. We've got our strawberry fields, ice with oat milk. So good. Oh, oh wow, it's too kind. You have to, um, these are like the compostable straws, by the way, but you have to, oh my gosh, no, Coco. You have to get a straw because you have to mix it. And then, the best chocolate chia pudding. It's so good. Thank you. Insert Cute. strawberry fields. What are you saying? Q is finally trying the strawberry fields. Let's see. Iced with oat milk. Yeah, why are you talking like this? Can you just be normal? I'm literally not gonna put this in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I might have to try some more. Just to, whoa, 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 I don't know if I got it really good. <laughs> Isn't it so good though? It's, uh, I think I'm, I don't know. I, I took two sips. I feel like three would really help me make my decision. Hey, do you want another? <laughs> I'll like chug it right now. <laughs> I would, I'm, I'm I would you make you turn around <laughs> and get me another one. It's really good. Yeah, see? It kind of tastes like cereal in a cup almost, but like healthy. Someone said that, commented on my video, and they went and got it, and they said it tasted like, maybe like Lucky Charms or something like that. I can't remember what cereal, but they said it tasted like that. Oh, I get it. I kind of get what you're saying. Like, like a like Kellogg, a, strawberry, yeah. or like a strawberry Wheaties, or like a good way. It is seriously the best drink ever. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for people that live in Dallas, because all I do is talk about this drink, and like, you only have a lot of land in Dallas. Also, guys, they're building a new one on Oakland right now, so the one I go to is like Lower Greenville. But the new one's gonna be on Oakland, which is like 10 minutes away, but so cool. Oh. Okay. Take it away, Kia. What? <laughs> so um, we're at White Rock Lake right I now. I meant the song, I didn't mean the vlog. Oh, it's a good song, it's a good song. Okay, I'm taking the angel that is Coco. You're on Fitz duty, have fun. Oh, Fitz the fearless? Fitz the terrible? Fitz. The financially stable? In what world? He's completely fits financially relying on me. Fits the... No. Funny? Fits the... Guys, update. I'm still loving this Nick. What? This Nick. I'm still loving this Nick's butter gloss. I used to use these all the time. Like, I'm loving this Nickelodeon. It's not like he's like, like Nick Jr., you know, Nick at, Nick at night. I don't know. Yeah, I got that. So we're at White Rock Lake. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Coco's coat is white. Fitz is white with some freckles that are very prominent now. Yeah, guys, he has freckles. It's so cute. Look. Kind of here for it. We love the freckles. They're so cute. Here we are, guys. It's so bright. So pretty. People are taking photos of the dock right now, so we can't go there yet. Looks like they're pregnant. So cute. Fitz, are you going? Yeah. <laughs> Quinton had to run with him to make him go. He just like always wants to lay in the grass and then chew on the grass and then maybe find a stick, you know. Wow. So beautiful. Wow. Some Fitz action. Fitz, what are you doing, buddy? 
Ça va, Coco Bitch. Oh yeah, this is convenient because this is their post-food breakfast though. So true. Bitch, where are you going, buddy? It's so annoying. He just wants to walk on his terms. Quentin, I want to get a boat. That would be so fun. I know, guys. Like, he just wants to walk on his own terms. If he doesn't want to walk, he doesn't understand that, like, that doesn't matter. Like, he just doesn't get it at all. Do you guys have good walking tips? Oh, Coco, keep up the pace, girl. Let us know, please. Guys, this house reminds me of a movie, but what movie is it? Like, why can I not think of it? I feel like it's so obvious. On a mansion now. Kind of, but no, I don't know. Look at the perfect angel dog, walks right beside me. Absolutely perfect. We're hoping that Fitz catches on. Right? <laughs> you gotta lead the way, girl. Guys, okay, when Coco looks up, Coco, look at me, girl. Coco, hey. Coco, look. Wait, look, hey. oh my gosh. Oh, she was like so out of it and tired. Oh, my hand right now, let's not talk about it. And like her eyes are really open. She was just smiling, it was so cute. Hi, she's got the the AC blowing in her hair. Keep it going, Queen. Joker. Her is up. She looks like Joker. <laughs> uh. All right, guys. So I've showered. I just did my hair with my Dyson um, hair dryer. I wait. What is it called? The Air Wrap. I tried to give myself a little straight blowout type thing. I feel like it actually definitely looks a lot better than if I used any other tool, but I don't know. I'm just not the best at doing hair, so I'm definitely trying to get better. I, my confidence levels don't really change if I'm like wearing makeup or not, more so if my face is so thin, but I feel like I feel better. I feel like I just feel so much better at myself if my hair looks good, and it has not been looking good lately, so wanted to do that. As far as a nice and air app goes, I definitely would recommend it. It basically replaces every other tool, and your hair just feels so soft. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Revolve. I don't love, I, something about it just makes it look really boxy to me. I'm not absolutely obsessed with it, but it's the only bodysuit I have right now. And then just white jeans and cute like sandal flip flops. I'm going to my mom's house. Two members of my family have birthdays. Actually three members of my family have birthdays this week. So we're doing a small little birthday celebration. So that's what I'm getting ready for. So like I was saying, I got some new drugstore products that I really wanted to try. Guys, I'm out of Super Goop right now. Ran out of it this morning. It's a heartbreaking time for me. So I have a new one um, on its way right now. My cousin, I bet she's like, what are you wearing? Um, hey, are you asking what I'm wearing? Um, yeah, it's like they are like. This is what, this is it. Without having Super Goop in my life, I feel empty. I have the Charlotte Tilbury's Wonder Glow. Sometimes if I really have been wanting to like actually do makeup lately, I will mix this with the Fendi foundation, which I love how that looks, but right now um, my skin is clear and I'm tan, so I don't feel like I need to. I'm actually gonna be using a lot of new products today. Very exciting, but I have been loving the Benefit 24 hour brow setter lately. I honestly didn't even know I had it in my bag. And then I found it and it's actually just been so good. And it's because I hate when I don't have <laughs> lip product on, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. I just now can use this again because I um, sharpened it. I finally got a sharpener. This is like my favorite, oh my gosh. This is like my favorite lip liner to ever exist. Then I'm gonna put my favorite lip gloss just on top of it, keep it simple. Honestly, like more often than not, I feel like this is what my everyday makeup look is. Just like a good moisturizer and then a lip product and brush your brows out. But today, we're gonna try out some new products. So I did get a refill of my old favorite um, concealer. I almost said mascara. Oh my gosh, I just remember I put mascara on. It's the worst. Guys, I kinda wanna get like a lash perm because I hate wearing mascara. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, this is like my all-time fave concealer. I never wear a concealer, so I thought, you know, might as well. I mean, yeah, I probably will end up regretting this, but it's fine. I picked up this bronzer. It is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and this one is in the shade Sunkissed. There was one that was like really dark that I want to do, and then I got this brush, Real Techniques 201. I'm gonna try a really big brush for my bronzer. I don't know how much I love the color of this bronzer, but I think I like the blush, or the brush. 
I don't know how I feel about it. Now we're gonna try this Milani blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. I think this one's really popular actually. Oh yeah, that's a lot of blush. All right, now on to mascara. I wish I would have curled it in more, but it just like wouldn't. Like I wanted it to be like more, you know? Putting my lip products in my bag. I'm definitely not having the best mascara day. And then this is just the final makeup look. It's super easy, simple. You guys know me. Also, I like really want to redo this bathroom probably after I put hardwood through the whole house. I've been thinking about it a lot and I actually like don't think it can even be that expensive because the bathroom isn't like big. I mean, it's like a good size bathroom, but it's not like a real huge master, you know what I mean? So anyways, we will see. But yeah, this is the Final look, it's super, super easy, is my outfit. Um, Revolve, which I'm not obsessed with the bodysuit, like, I don't know. Like I said, it just kinda looks a little boxy, but I don't have any other bodysuits right now. I don't know where they all went, so I'm gonna have to order some today because there's just, there's no other option, truly. So, um, oh, the pants are actually also Revolve, and then the shoes are nasty gal. They're some of my favorites, but I need to paint my nail toenails, so. You know, I have like gel coming off and so there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, there is, I'm just lazy. And then my favorite bag, which I actually got this from um, Dreaming of Designer on Instagram. They just kind of like resell vintage bags. They're super, super cute and I love them. They have really cute product stuff right now from, I think, unless I'm making that up. I want to say I saw a cute product stuff that I saved from their Instagram the other night, but yeah, this is the outfit. I went outside for two seconds to take a photo and it truly felt like a sauna on my balcony, so that's great. Guys, oh my gosh, there's horses. I hope they're okay, it's kind of hot out. Are they okay in there? Yeah, they're thriving. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Guys, if you know me, I just, I don't know why. Randomly in the past year, I've become like one of those horse girls, so. Oh my gosh, so cute. I want to go horseback riding in, in Texas so bad, but not right now because it's so hot. I would love for that to become a hobby of mine, like in the fall and winter, springtime, you know? Kins is coming back with nothing uh, but cakes. Coco's excited because she wants some too. Everybody uh, just loves nothing but cakes. They're so good. Um, I like Susie cakes too. It's between these two, red velvet. It's so freaking good. I only got the eight inch. My mom has to get a mini one because she is gluten free and there's only one gluten free cake that no one else wants, so. Yeah, I had to get her a separate one. That's for you, Mama Mel. Yeah, there we go. Oh shoot, how are we gonna? You got Coco! Uh, look how cute! Look how cute! Wait, show them your ring. Oh, look at how cute this ring is, guys. We love it. Oh, oh yeah? Sophie said she wanted to say hi to the camera and then she went like this. Sophie, do you wanna say something? No, you just wanted this. She asked me on camera, guys. She loves this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Ooh. Do you like Coco? Do you like Coco? Mm -hmm. Do we want to hold her? Okay. Oh, you got her. Oh, thank you. She loves Coco. Right? You want to see the video? Oh my god! He's so agile in small places. Oh. 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 Yeah. Keep going, keep going! <laughs> I love you! Oh my gosh, did you get it? Oh, Coco, Coco up, Coco up. Guys, supposedly, Maddie has started a YouTube channel, but she hasn't actually, she's vlogging and she's not actually editing, which is exactly what's gonna happen. Like, the videos are never gonna see the internet. I don't know how to do this, y'all. It's actually really hard, like, I texted her, I was like, how do you end a vlog? And she's like, you just end it. And like, I said, you just say bye. It sounds a lot easier than it does. Like, I'm like, all right, guys, like, bye. Like, I don't know what to say. Okay, well, anyways, supposedly she started vlogging, but. I, look, I even. You started vlogging, but you haven't started uploading. Yeah, so I started vlogging. I have a lot of content. We're gonna get it together. I'm gonna text your friend. I'm gonna pay her to do that. Who? Kat. She said that she would. And then she like commented on my Instagram. She was like, vlog, vlog, vlog. So hopefully she's still down to do it. Because I have no clue how to edit. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right, we're leaving. All right, guys, we left the birthday thing. And now we're gonna drop this off. No contact for my grandpa. Isn't this so cute? We went it's birthday season. It's birthday season. But Dennis, you've been to so many family birthdays and we have these cakes at like every single one. Every single and one. And we but have that was the, 
All right, guys, Quentin has already opened this. A uh, very exciting package. Well, it's mine, but he thinks it's his. So I love the coconut almond. I think that maybe this is not out yet because it's still in these packages. But yeah. anyways, you guys know that we love mush. They have the best. Oh, they gave us dark chocolate too. Uh, it probably looked gross to a lot of people, but like it's actually incredible. Just trust us on this. It's so freaking good. My entire family is hooked. My stepmom buys this in bulk all the time now since I made my step siblings try it and it's just amazing. You know, you should sing. What is it like? Another one bites the dust. Happy yes. birthday, we see the alphabet. Okay, so Dip Dye Supply sent me a package. So they said, hi Kenzie, we can't wait to see you in your custom tie-dye for a good cause. We are currently donating to Equal Justice Initiative and National Urban League. Your personal code, Kenzie, will give your followers a free tie-dye mask with their orders of over $20. Thank you so much, PS Fits is so cute. Okay, that is actually so awesome. So it's at Dip Dye Supply on Instagram. I will show you guys what I got. Oh my gosh, I'm literally wearing all tie dye, and <laughs> here we are. So cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Yay! I got a mask. Gosh, this really cute tank top. I'm wearing this tomorrow. That is like the perfect Sunday outfit. Literally the perfect Sunday outfit. With these cute matching socks. Really cute matching like long sleeve crop, which this is so much better for summer because it is um, like really thin. This is super, super cute. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit for Sunday. <laughs> It's a perfect Sunday outfit. So anyways, check them out guys and use code Kenzie for, for a free mask with orders over $20. That's really awesome and it's going to a good cause as well. Love that. Okay, I got new shoes from Urban. I actually have another pair coming on Tuesday. These are just like black sandals. I'm really picky when it comes to sandals and I actually really liked these. Cute, my new sandals. Cute, right? Ooh, I really, Urban, I really like the look of sandals with like jeans and then just like a tank. Can I wear that in Texas? No, but I have and it's cute. I think this might be my court skirt or yeah, it is. Okay, guys. <laughs> I am so excited. Everyone talks about these court skirts and it's like crazy how, wait, yeah. Okay, it's just this cute little black skirt score it really with a little slit everyone is obsessed with this and they talk about it all the time and urban or, or not urban outdoor voices restocked them so i got one of the last ones i'll link it down below if so i got a size small i normally wear a small in like their skirts and stuff and i have another red exercise skirt coming i wish that they had black but those are out of stock i've been looking all the time but i'm gonna like live in stuff like this this summer because it's really cute and it's actually really comfortable i had to go through my entire closet Sometime this week. I will do it in one of these vlogs. Hopefully <laughs> you just door dashed us some Chipotle Door dash code link down below. Also Thanks for the glass for the Gatorade queue um, I'm really hungry and it's like seven. I want to watch a movie But I just got some tacos um, I've been loving their queso lately Q gets like a very 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 simple bowl. He's a very picky eater but the power, powery Gatorade, I don't know, looks so good. Wow, so romantic, cute. <laughs> okay, this is what I want to watch, The Unsolved Mysteries. It's from the producer of Stranger Things. You love Stranger Things. Comment down below if you guys have seen it. Also, comment down below Show Rocks. I haven't watched a new show since Nashville. I think we want to watch How to Get Away with Murder. guys so it is 8 p.m. again and I am in bed ready to read I didn't actually finish the book I was planning on finishing last night but I am finishing it tonight because I only have 20% left and I have to finish it Kindle does it in percentages rather than pages anyways to do that I might end up like watching another show or something that show was really really good and yeah I'm just gonna drink some tea read go to bed that was my plan for the night but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog Comment down below what you guys want to see in the rest of vlog week. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.